Right guys, bit of a yard vlog today. What I doing? I haven't been on here the last few days. Even more at the sun. I don't know if it's the best place. You gotta shave, I do. A bit rough here. Um, yeah, the snow being down again. But I was thinking a bit fed up with this. All the years I got a 4x4 on the road. Now I haven't. But the snow's coming down and I'm stuck in my house. In my van. Like I said, that's no good on the snow. I'm not good in the snow. So, and I took the weight out of the back of them bags of uh, postcrete in there. But I'm going to make a, a weight to go in the back of them. So, we're lift in and out until I get a, a Jeep on the road for next winter. We've got more snow coming. Don't know how true that is, but they said next week. I'm going to do the starter motor this week if I can get a solder gun in time. A gas one, a good one. A parasol one. I'll get that kit. I haven't done my soldering, but uh, we'll have a go. Done bits over the years, like. I've been splitting some more of this wood this morning. I tell you what, i take some work. Cutting it with a saw, because I've got some audible chunks. So, I've already got one bag, which we filled last week. Like I said, this, the snow got in the way then. So i got to do another two bags, so sure enough, yeah. Do another mix, like. Do a bit of a mix there. But we've got a few more chunks to cut up um, to what else I've been doing is making some blocks always handy to have blocks for chalking under stuff it's good wood ash so anything that's really square I just keep them in as, as chocks because they knotty stuff so they're strong so I'll be alright eh like I said I won't want to cut yet because they're all, all this frost and, and snow but they won't be very good for the grass so I don't think it's um, the right thing to do, be cutting now. Let all this go first and then cut. That's my opinion. Like I said a few days ago, it is starting to tuft up a bit. But uh, just leave it go more yet. I'm going to get another bale out, bale of alage for the horses. Um, yeah, I don't guard anything over there. So I'll get one out. I could have had the spike, I used to have the spike. On the back of the... On the back links like a feet by link that would been easier i could have got into them bales of light but it's just so handy having the back the box on you every day that's why i haven't done it that way because some people might think well why don't i just pull it on the back and turn around and reverse in instead of pulling it out with the wire but that's um yes i could have done that yeah but i'd be taking this on and off then which i didn't want to in other words i didn't want to spike on the back all the time i'd rather have this on the back and the spike on there. Like I said, once I finish that silage, once it's gone, the eyelage, the spike can just stay off then. The bucket go back on. I'm going to finish that off as well and paint it. But I am going to make forks. I'm definitely going to make some pallet forks. But I'm not going to weld them solid. Obviously, just take the spike off then. I might make this into a box for an helping load, uh, older load or something. And I make adjustable uh, spikes on your pallet forks. You see what I mean? There'll be plates over with like pins through so they can slide back and forth. So look out for that. That'll be a video. We'll do that. I got a few bits to do on you. He's rusting out under you. One part there. So when I either cut him out or just go over the top of it. I keep that on it because it's a, a trip loader. This 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 loader will take two buckets and see. I got a trip loader bucket which just it tips. So that, that can work that way. Oh, I got the ram on it now, like. But I gotta get a longer ram. But that does it for now. I wanna do him so he's a power loader as well. So he's, he's pushed down instead of just gravity, like. So you can do a bit of grading in as well. But I'd be more interested in getting uh, like a spool block, valve block, with like three. So I got my up and down, um, a crouch, the bucket tilt. And I'd like an auxiliary because I might put a grab on it or something in the future. Just a little baby grab of some kind for grabbing branches and stuff like that. I could even strengthen it if I had to, but uh, no, it's alright. I've got to watch the weight because the front axle is uh, only a light front axle. Start him up now. Pretty good starting, cold, I've got to be honest.
should really never walk under the front loader. That's what my father told me years ago. Uh, we didn't ever know they could come down. But with this one I feel better. Because you can lock it. Which some can't, but this can. This lever there diverts where the flow goes. Bit of a valve block. So where I lock it there, the front's locked. So that's the beauty of it. I won't go under unless it was locked. Another nice feature with these David Browns, you can lock the back the back um, link but link arms up as well. Are they you come the other side? Which is a brilliant feature because that's where they are, they lock now. This is always locked up. Even with a full load of weight is locked. I don't know if you're supposed to. But see are they? Yeah, you turn are they? And the arms will go up and down, it needs to come out. It'd like unlock, like a pin must go into there. It's like a gear or something. And then you just put it up and then when you lift the arms up right up, it just pops back in, nice. And locked. Obviously I haven't finished doing this cab up yet, but I'm gonna make a fiberglass lip, like a like a vim, like an at on the top. That's fiberglass. Put a sheet in off the top of the transit or something I was. Um, but I come right round with it. Bit of an at, like I said, right round the top. So we smart, I will. All blended in then, and it can come on and off. So when I paint all this frame, I'm gonna cut this out here, and I might either put a new piece back, or just, just leave it to the... No, I'll put a piece of box or something across the similar dimension to that then. And um, when it's all painted up, we tidy. Because we'll put some spots on these, yeah? Back working lights, front working lights. Obviously, these gotta go back painted white then. And I gotta either weld a seat or, or buy a new seat for it. But uh, they're quite juicy. I'll go around to it one day. I'll go and see if I. Oh, I got the wrong cushion. I'll go and see if we can get a bail out now, straight away onto the front. Without dragging it out. Right up the field, eh? Ben said, I'm like, I gotta finish it off. I haven't finished it yet. So the horse is back in this field. You haven't seen our shot before, we'll come up here, get the mark down. So there it is down there. Need a bit of a tidy up on the buildings, like, on the back, but I have to get to that. They said we used to have a hell of a lot more caravans here one time. A little bit of snow up here, see? I laid that edge oh, a few years ago, done that with a pole saw, all the way from there to that corner. I took all, most of the edges out with the pole saw, 
obviously the bigger stuff with uh, the chainsaw. Let's see how I drop most of them down. It's an uphill, obviously. And I'm happy enough with them. They've, they've stayed, they've grown. These ones are coming up nice on top of here. So I've dropped them there. Cut it, drop it down, tuck it in, and they still grow in. So that's good, I was. But I've got to put a few strands in there. I'm not going to put no sheep, uh, no rylock on there, netting. Just two strands of barb. We do either way a job. And I cut this edge with a tractor. I go in next door, next door of the field. We have permission to go in there with a the tractor. So I cut this nice with a tractor, both sides. I can't reach over there, see? Because it's banked there. So I do it all from that side. Make sure the tractor doesn't roll away. That's the last thing you want. Look at the size of this oak there that come down. I just want to show you while I'm here. Look at that, I just snapped off it. I cut most of the way. That's an edge I do there. Cut all out with a pole saw. In the beginning. And I look after it. I like, took out one, bit, one or two big trees out there as well. There was a big oak there that snapped off. One of the storms we had. And that was a fair old tree I was over there. And that's all I got left now is that uh, trunk there. To cut up. Let's climb over. I'll show you there. So this is the field where the horses are in. Look at them down there. I'm thinking, what the hell is he doing up there? Oi! Oi! Look how that snapped. Look. Bloody hell of a leaner it was. Right out there. The bloody monster it was. That just snapped off. It didn't actually land on our fence. That's just the weight of it after I was cutting it, didn't I? Oh, it was dug. It was right out there it was. So, I'll cut that up. Soon. I'm going to get up here. Another video. The horse is dancing up here now. Yeah, so I do this edge, yeah? I said we do all, go on all the edges. But this one I get really nice. Like I said, I took out uh, one or two old trees. And, uh, and up that side as well. Where that lorry is there now. And obviously the front one, the front field. Alright! Good girl. What do you want? Come on. They are a bit like wild, they're not really uh, pets. We feed them, and that's about it. They will let us um, rub them. But that one's a bit nasty, I nearly killed the previous owner. I kicked him in the chest. So, you've got to watch them a bit, like. This is my father, knows this one was. Yeah, so I fenced all the way across back, behind the caravan, to decide that that's as big as we wanted to go. Like I said, we was further back. But I fenced across there. I still got to finish off on the left hand side of the gate. I put a gate on. All the way up that edge there, eh? a fair bit of work into that. That was a good, oh, five years ago now, I expect. I'll show you where it goes. It goes down over the bank. So I'm up as far as there. It's got that bit for there to do. And, uh, I'm coming up there then. It's where I dump all my old clippings, yeah? My brash pile. When I'm doing jobs. All my conifer jobs, you can see there, over the years. A lot of our stuff have gone, yeah? And it all just, uh, just rots away. There's a nice bit of area there. So that's where I bring all my clippings. Grass clippings, whatever. Some of the grass clippings go on the pile. My manure heap on the front of the farm. But you can see a fair bit of... Uh, well, that was high, that was, but it just compresses down over time. So i got um, fence in there, done all this. I had to do a bit of a tie back here on the wire to hold the post because it's soft down there. So, down under the corner post. I, I enjoy doing fencing, but honestly, all tied back there. Eh? All tied back, twisted. I do all these fancy stuff. Goes down there. Eh? So, we'll do a bit of fencing one day. 
well down there, I've got to finish off, so I cut all the trees out here. This is all well, a little bit of a wooded area, but yeah, all the young stuff's coming back now. I left them ones to yeah, that's what I left. Look, all these limbs got to come out here. Dangerous old limbs they are. These oaks are old now, and uh, that's what I want to climb to really, just the bottom limbs, just clean them up. That's all I want to do. We've got loads of them. We got a load of them, like. and we got a woods the other side. We got like an acre woods the other side of the road. Which one day I'll get more stuff out of there. Right, let's go and get a bale of A. A ledge. I get them out. Put them in low gear, or low range.
That's a diversion just to get them away from the gate. I took that bail out to really good. It'll be a neat day. Um, knock it off now then. There we are. So it was a quick video. Of a few things I've been up to. Like I said, I haven't done that much because of the... The snow. It's thrown me out a bit. So, there we are. I'll crack on with this now, myself. And uh, we'll go for the next one. Like I said, we're going to do a starter motor job on that. Uh, repair job. We'll fire up the international, get that going. Or probably next week, something like that. Um, yeah, it's loads to do. Just finding the right day to do certain things. I'm just picking the days to do certain jobs and the weather. Could be with it as well, like. Alright. So. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.